Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. This is Shasha SJ. I am so happy that you are here today. Today we are going to make another awesome DIY for upcoming Easter. Anyway, if you are new to my channel, I am Shasha SJ and I love to craft anything from the dollar store, Walmart, Goodwill, and anything that can be recycled and I also love jewelries which is I sell them on my Poshmark closet and if you want to check them out go check them at the description down below and if you don't like the price of the jewelry that I sell make me an offer and we will work it out and yes let's get started to our DIY of today All right, so this is the one that we are going to make today. This is made from sock. Everything are from sock and you know, some add-ons of laces and flowers and stuff. But these are from the sock. And look how cute and easy that is. Super fun. And I'm pretty sure you will have fun making this with your little one. Let's get into this. Here we go. All right, the items that we need is a yarn. If you have a thread, go ahead and use it. Marker. Of course, a sock. I use the toddler turn cuff, somehow 18 to 36 a month old sock. So it's kind of awesome which is 10 pair and i got it from walmart 10 pair of these so super super fun a spring ribbon i got it from walmart i got it for a dollar something 97 cents so there's three in here a rice a funnel a scoop you know how it goes. <laughs> I have this little sock, so I use as a funnel. And if you have a bigger sock, you can always put your sock in, like so. And you stretch this um, end down here and you put them like that. But since we are using a little sock, we're just going to use a funnel, okay? A scissors. I get this small one and the big one stretchy band this is what we are going to use as well I don't know where my rubber band went <laughs> all right let's get started okay so right now we are going to fill this sock with rice okay Okay, so I think that is enough. All you have to do is make sure when you put a rice, like just like that, you make sure that the rice is, if you have this kind of sock, the rice should be almost like that, like a little bit higher in this little area. So you just tie it up, you don't have to smush it, just, just like so, like fit into that sock. And then, Tie this up with a rubber band like that, like this. Just tie it, okay? Like so. As you can see, it's tied up. All right, so next, as you can see here, this is the heel of our feet so all you have to do you can just like smoosh it down like so and you can see in there that it formed a head of the bunny see that and all you can do next is you tie it up with a yarn you can use a thread or somehow and what I'm using right now is just a yarn just tie it like so and 
cut it with the scissors. Super, super easy, guys. And as you can see, the moment when the, you smush it down, it created a head of our bunny. Okay? There you go. Next is you can grab your ribbon. Super, super easy project, guys. And we are going to use this kind of ribbon right here. I like this checkered one. And I like to wrap my ribbon down here like so. And just leave it like that. And I'm going to cut this like this. And make sure your glue gun is preheated. And to avoid frays of your ribbon, you can always run it with a lighter and try to burn the end so it's not going to fray in the future. Super cute and I like to leave it like that and glue the end so that it attaches on the bunny's body. go and as you can see we just created an awesome bunny all right so next we are going to create a bow down here and what I do is I just like to make a bunny ears down there and just create a bow like so and I will try to arrange this area down here like that If I reach the point of the one that I like, then I will leave it like that. So I think I'm almost there to reach my bow. And I think that is perfect. And I'm going to cut it like so in a angle of like this. That and do the other side on the other end like so and I'm going to attach this down here to our bunny Also like to put some glue in it so they stay and they're not flying everywhere and there you go there is our bunny how cute is that next is we are going to make our bunny face up like this and we are going to make this top flat like that and we are going to turn it around like so because this is our body where like it's facing like on his mouth we are just going to cut this in half okay I'm going to get this one closer so you can see what I'm doing all right so here is the by the top of your sock is you are going to cut this in half just cut them like so and you can cut it like almost close to the rubber band like that and you can cut an angle of a V I'll show you how I do it like these like a V one and on the other side, like so. Alright, 
so that is beautiful and as you can see this one shows in here where there is a rubber band do not throw this one away we are going to use it okay and I'm kind of work on this one in here because I kind of don't like that area so I just have to trim that and I grab this one piece and I try to cover the rubber band in it so I just tie a single knot and another knot on the back so it just cover itself the rubber band and cut the end and cut the other end there you go now that rubber band is not even showing okay so that's it and then this one is can go to the garbage and the other end is all you have to do is like this roll this one see as you can see you cut that to be like this kind of shape you roll the end like so because this is going to be the tail of our bunny okay just roll it and form it like a ball and glue the end of it because this is going to be our bunny's tail okay after that is you attach this to the back of your bunny like so so they were the same color all right so like so and I'm just going to attach that right there. Like that. Alright, so there is our bunny. Has a tail and a ears. Next is we are going to grab our marker. I have this kind of sharpie permanent marker you can use the pointy one but and then you can use a you can manipulate this one down here to create where you want your bunny's eyes and nose so I just have to use a dot and another dot and an X down here to create their nose there you go. There is our awesome, simple bunny. All right, so there you go. There is our pink bunny and another bunny and our white bunny. And there you go, guys. I'm going to show you the closer look of this bunny that we just made today. And come back next time. You have an awesome day. Bye.